Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with the one and only Sandra Yes, hi everyone. So it's summer and I want all of you guys out there to smell fresh and hot. And I teamed up with you yeah. to bring you guys 12 fresh and hot fragrances. So without further ado, let's do this. First up is the fresh, spicy and musky. Versace Dylan Blue. So good, so good. Yeah. So let me read the notes while you spray it on. Yeah. We have Calabrian bergamot, water notes, grapefruit, fig leaf, and brox and black pepper, patchouli, wild leaf, incense, musk, tonka bean, and saffron. <laughs> so quite a busy blend. Yeah. And you can really tell when you put your nose to it. Yes, and what really hits busy me with this- Busy in a good way. Busy in a good way. And what I really do enjoy about this one is that the spiciness is very simple. This is like, you get some pepper and mm. that's all the spiciness you get. And that's why I think it's perfect for summer. Yeah, this is, this is sexy. Yeah. And this is fresh, but not this super bright, it's freshy. It's like dark fresh. Yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, if you have not yet tried with such a Dylan Blue, then you really need to do so. This is fresh and hot guaranteed. We have one coming up that is perfect for summer. Oh yes. And especially if you are in a really hot country. Mm. And that is Pac Rabanne's. It's so good. Yeah, Invictus. Platinum. Oh my God. Platinum. We have absinthe, grapefruit, mint, lavender, patchouli, cypress. So this one to me has a bit of something that is sort of a fruity sweet yeah. from the grapefruit. And then it's a bit minty. It's definitely green. So this is like fresh, bright and green to me. Fresh, bright, green and also with that kind of woody sweetness that you can find mm. in uh, uh, One Million Privé and also Elixir. Mm -hmm. that, Interesting. That like woody sweetness sweet, almost crunchy, creamy yeah. type of thing. This is one that I brought with me on a vacation earlier this year. I burned through almost <laughs> half the bottle, or pretty much, yeah, yeah uh, in uh, like three weeks. That's how good this one is. And not only did I receive a ton of compliments from you, almost yeah. on a daily basis yeah. for this one, I also got a ton of compliments when you and I were out. Yes. So this is an amazing fresh and hot fragrance guaranteed. And you will most likely get a compliment or two if you have this one on this summer. Amazing one. Now we have one that is powdery and fresh. Yes. And with tomato leaf. Mm. I can't smell the tomato leaf, but this is Valentino yes. Uomo Aqua. So good. So we have mandarin, orange, tomato leaf, sage, patchouli, iris and leather. So this has been an interesting wearing experience for me because I really liked it from the first time I put my nose to it, but I always thought it, was, it wasn't it was that attractive to other people. Uh -huh. And I also thought it was a super weak scent. It's not. It's not, no. no. Uh, I've been wearing this quite a bit this summer and people actually pick it up. People really feel it in the air and come up to me and tell me that I smell amazing and wanna know what I have on. And you have done the exact same thing. Yes, and it really surprised me because this is so light and bright on the test strip. Mm. But when you have it on your skin, you get that powdery, but light, but strong yes. kind of scent. And it's beautiful, perfect yes. to wear in a summer where maybe not every powdery scent works, but this one, yeah. wow. So yeah, Valentina Uomo Aqua have really surprised me and it seems like people around me absolutely love it. So if you have not yet tried it, please do so. So next up is the crazy compliment getter from Rasasi. This is Rasasi Havas for him. Please do spray it on. Yes. So we have bergamot, apple, cinnamon, lemon, watery notes, plum, orange blossom, ambergris, musk, driftwood, and patchouli. So this one is fresh but in a sweet way, fruity yeah. sweet way. Yeah. And this one is crazy good. I love it. I think it smells quite different from most other sort of a citrus heavy freshies out there. Yes. And I believe the sweetness in it is the reason why it's so attractive to so many people. I think what they have done with making it fresh 
but still very round and soft. Yeah. It's so nice. And this is so easy to like. It's so yeah. easy to wear. I can't think of any situation in the summertime when this is not no. perfect. No, and this is one that I feel pretty much everyone will enjoy on you. Yes. I think we have compliments brother in the yes, house. Yes, we do. Because we have Club de Nuit Intense Man mm, EDP. So good. Yeah. So the notes are apple, bergamot, blackcurrant, pineapple, lemon, and we have rose, birch, jasmine, ambergris, patchouli, and vanilla. So wow. some people will think this is too heavy for summer, but no. I do not agree. I think no. this is perfect all year round. And this one to me, if you have tried uh, compliments, which is <laughs> Club de Nuit Intense Man. Yes, the EDT. Yeah. Then think of a scent that is almost like it, yeah. but way smoother, I'm gonna say. So without that opening, that to some people is a bit harsh. Yes, and I think this is less dark. It's uh, much more light on yes. the floral side and focuses more on the fresh side. Yes. Which is a really good thing in the summertime. But I'm gonna say this, if you have ever tried the original compliments, then you know how insanely good that one is. Yeah. Everyone, well almost everyone, absolutely <laughs> loves it. Yes. It pulls in the sexiest, craziest, most intense kind of comments. This one is the same, but almost better. Yeah, but would you wear the original in the summertime? Absolutely, yeah. I love wearing the original EDT. This one, however, is double the price of that one. Wow. So the thing is that I still recommend the EDT because it's super cheap and it smells amazing. Yes, the opening to some people is a bit harsh, but it's still amazing when it dries down. This one is, I guess you could say that this one is better, but different better. But is it worth double the price? That is all up to you, but we absolutely love this one. So as soon as I found out that Jean-Paul Gaultier had released a brand new version of Le Mal, I head to the store and I tried it out on paper and I wasn't that impressed. I mean, it was good, but I wasn't blown away. But then I tried it on my skin and right there and then I said, I gotta have this one. And this one is Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal Pride Edition 2022. It's so good. Please do spray it on. Yuzu Blood Orange, Orange Blossom, Neroli, White Woods and Musk. So this one to me is like a citrusy floral. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's crazy good. It's like a citrusy, fruity, creamy floral. This yeah. is incredible. Yeah. And I think that most of you know which fragrance I have said that I would marry. If it was a summer wedding, I would marry this one because mm. this is beautiful. Yeah. This is really, it's intoxicating. You can't stop sniffing it once you have started. Yeah, and... Um, and the scent cloud. I mean, when you have this on, the sand cloud is amazing. Yes. And it really, it's like one or two meters around you. And when you move, it spreads in the air in a beautiful way. So I'll be using this a ton since I got it. And this one really pulls in the compliments. But I mean, more importantly, people just love the sand. Yeah. People seem to enjoy being in my sort of a vicinity. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not sure if it's my personality or if it's the scent. You have a great personality. <laughs> I but hope this it's... one makes you feel happy. Oh. It makes you feel good. You also make ah, people feel okay. happy. <laughs> so I guess okay, I'm good. guessing it's a combination. Good. Yeah. But if I couldn't spend time with you, I would spend time with this. Whoa. We have been yapping about this yes. a lot. Yes. That's because it's amazing. And it for is. summer, it is a perfect summer fragrance. Yes. And the one is Prada Luna Rosa. It's so good. So let me read the notes. We have lavender, bitter orange, mint, clary sage, and bread and ambroxan. Oh my. Wow. I actually had that this one on uh, as my sort of a morning gym scent today. And oh my God. Yeah. And the sand cloud. I mean, the scent cloud, mm. when you have just sprayed this on, is amazing. It spreads yeah. in the air in an incredible way. It fills up a room in seconds. I'm actually going to go on record right here in this video, right here and now, and say that this is most likely top five when it comes to fresh and hot. And when I say yeah. hot, I mean fresh, 
hot slash sexy. Yeah. This one to me and to a lot of people around me is crazy sexy. Would you yeah. agree? Yes, definitely. This is incredible. And yeah, you said this was your gym scent of today. Yeah. But I would definitely enjoy it on a man on a date. And that's why it's also perfect yeah. fragrance. You can smell like fresh to the gym or fresh Summer sexy. date scent. Hell yeah. yeah. So if you are a subscriber, then you know exactly what I'm gonna say. Yes. This thing right here is fresh done right. And fresh done right is? Percival. Mm, yeah. No. Sexy as <laughs> hell. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Percival is sexy as hell. We have lavender, mandarin orange, bergamot, geranium, hedion, violet, coriander, jasmine, cinnamon, and broxen, amberwood, balsam, fir, musk, and clearwood. So I love all the different layers this one has. Yeah. It's not a super deep kind of scent, no. but it has some depth to it. It has a bright, amazing top. It has the mids that are just beautiful and it has some depth to it that is just amazing. I love this yeah, one. Yeah, and I think that what you may be looking for is that, no, it's not a deep one, but it has something deeper. But what I love about it is the nuances. Yes. It has so many yes. nuances and it's such a beautiful and well blended one. Yes. So yeah, we are not going to spend that much time on Percival. It's an amazing scent, but we have a sort of a honorable mention. Yeah. If you are one of those who feel that Percival for some reason is not for you, then we can recommend Sadly. Yes. And in my experience, women, at least on me, enjoy both of these. Yeah. even though more seem to prefer Percival. But I mean, Sedley is an amazing one and I know a lot of women prefer Sedley. Yeah, and Sedley is a great one. I would say that Sedley is a bit like Percival, but it's a bit more, it has some kind of soapiness, almost some kind of musky powderiness mm. that I think is so nice. Yeah, amazing. So yeah, I mean, if you have not tried any of these, please do so because both of these are fresh and hot. Now we're gonna sniff out one of the darker ones in the Aqua di Gio line. Yep. And the one is Profumo. Oh yes, please do spray it on. Yeah. So we have sea notes, bergamot, rosemary, sage, geranium, incense, and patchouli. So this one to me has a bit of the original in it. So you can feel those sort of sea notes, yeah. that Aqua di Gio kind of scent. Yeah. But it has something sort of um, incense slightly smoky yeah. and warm and spicy over it. So it, it is different. Yeah. So this one in a way is sort of in the borderline between something that is fresh and aquatic and something that is warm, spicy and a bit heavier, which is quite cool. So this is when they have brought some sexiness to it. Yes, definitely. This is so good. This is so nice. And I honestly feel that you cannot go wrong with this one. And this is another scent that women just love and men. Yeah. Everyone seems to love Aqua di Gio Profumo and this is another one that is fresh and hot. So one you have been familiar with for years and believe this or not, I just recently discovered it. That is crazy. That is crazy. Because this one to me is like a modern classic when it comes to perfumes. Yeah, and this was love at first sniff and now I just can't get enough mm. of it. This is Lom. Yes, YSL. the original lamb. Yeah. So we have ginger, bergamot, lemon, then we have spices, violet leaf, white pepper, basil, tonka bean, cedar, and Tahitian oh, vetiver. This is so elegant. Yes. This is so hot. And yeah, we talked about this. This is not a dirty one. This no. is so beautifully, elegantly sexy and seductive. Yeah. This is how a man should smell. And this is how a man should smell on every date. Incredible. I can't imagine anyone not loving this. No. And this is yet another one that you simply cannot go wrong with. No. Do you so have anything to add to this epic one? Yes, this is so obviously sexy. This is incredible. Every man needs to have this in his collection because it's so good. So next up we have the one and only from Chanel, even though Chanel has a ton of one and onlys. Yeah. But this <laughs> is the one I usually describe as the one that makes women roll their eyes. Not in a faint uh, way. Or... Yeah, but not in a bad way. No. Not like trying to pass out or something. <laughs> no. In a good way. This is Chanel Aluron Sport O Extreme. And to everyone who feels that, hey, you can't put this one on summertime. No, no, no. I even had this one in the tropics. Everyone loves it. I love it. And it develops in a beautiful way when it's warm outside. 
I would roll my eyes to this one any kind in a of good way. Day. I hope in a very good way. Yeah, yeah I'm, okay. I don't want to faint. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> so we have mandarin, orange, mint, cypress, sage, pepper, tonka bean, musk, sandalwood, and cedar. Sort of a minty fresh with a woody side yeah. with the musk, and it's yeah. and something sweet in the background. Yes, it's fresh but with enough depth, and that depth is sexy as hell and elegant as. No, Whoa. I was about to say it's elegant as fuck, but that is Do not, not elegant. Do not swear. No, I'm sorry. Yes, so it's just so good. Guys, yeah. get it. Yeah. So the last fragrance in this list is actually two. And the first of the two is Chompo Gautier's Le Beau. So this one is an amazing compliment getter. Yes, it's not strong, so you do need to overspray like crazy. But when you do, you are most likely going to get a ton of compliments. At least yeah. I do. So this one has bergamot, coconut, and tonka. So a bright citrusy opening with that coconut, which then dries down to a sort of a coconutty vanillic blend with a bit of citrus on top. And it's so damn good. So this one is perfect for for those warm summer days. And yeah. this one right here, at least according to us, is also perfect on those warm summer days. But I do know that some of you guys out there will feel that this one is a bit too heavy. Sorry, what's the name of this? This is Le Beau Le Parfum. Yes. yes. So I do know that some of you guys will feel that this one is a bit too heavy for those warm summer days. And that's why we recommend it as a summer night fragrance yes yes this is deeper darker it yes. also has a wonderful pineapple note and some iris for that powdery touch so i mean if you feel this is too heavy for a summer day wear it in the evenings and just put le bow le bow le bow le bow, <laughs> le bow, bow. Yeah. Le bow the original for the daytime yes make sure you smash that like and hit that notification yes yeah, spank that thing and make sure you head on over to Sandra Solomon Fragrance channel. I'm going to link to her channel in the description below. Sub to her, sub to me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.